problem 23, we have a, a meter here. Uh, read two ampere. So we have two ampere. Find I1, I2, and E. We have to find this one, this one, and this one. Simply, we apply Kirchhoff's law. Uh, we apply junction rule and loop rule. We can take the uh, clockwise upper loop and clockwise lower loop. First of all, you have to put the uh, notation A. Here we have A, the same point. B, B, C, C, D, and here we have C. Let's say we have a point E. And here we have the same point A. Okay. First of all, we take A, B, C, D, A. Okay. So we can, uh, before this one, we can apply also junction rule. Okay. So we take the loop A, B, C, D, A. Before, let me put the direction of I. As you see, we have E is down. So uh, E here must be to the left. Okay. Uh, here we have N, N, this one must be out. It is very important, must be out. At the node, at the junction A, we have two N current, we must to put it out. So here in this direction. Okay, we come uh, down, I2 is to the left. So here we have I1 plus two minus, always start by plus and finish by minus. Here also plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay, we take the upper loop. Uh, delta, the summation of delta V equals to O. It's loop rule. Delta V, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. So delta V, A, B, plus delta V, B, C, delta V, C, D, delta V, D, A equals to O. Delta V, A, B, or delta v, v, B minus V, A. V, C minus V, B. V, D minus V, C. V, A minus V, D equal to zero. We take the first one, the sign. We start by the point A and we go to the point A by clockwise direction, okay? So we start by this point, from this point to this point. B is at the positive point. So we have plus the voltage at the resistance equals to R times I. Here we have I1. 
CB. Okay, we go to the point C. C is at the negative side. So we have minus. The voltage here equals to 15. DC, we go to the point D. Here we have nothing, okay? It's just in uh, a meter, okay? We have nothing here. We don't have a difference of voltage. D, D, A, A is at the positive side. So we have plus the voltage at the resistance equals to five times I. Here, I equals to two. Okay, let's say we have I times two equal to zero. So here we get uh, simply we have seven I one minus 15 plus 10 equal to zero. So seven I one equals two minus five. So we get here five. So we can say I one equals to five divided by seven equals to 0 0.7 ampere. Okay. This is the value of I1. How can we calculate I2? We can take the node here. We can apply junction rule at the node A. We have I1 in, I2 in. So I1 plus I2, and we have I out equals to I. So we can calculate easily I2 equals to I, which is two minus I1 minus 0 0.7 equals to 1.3 ampere. Okay, this is the value of I2 and this is the value of I1. Find E, simply we have to take another loop to find E. We can take uh, also clockwise loop between A A to D, D to C, C to E, E to A, okay? So A, D, C, E, A. We apply delta V, okay? We can uh, write directly. We have VD minus VA, plus VC minus VD plus VE minus VC plus VA minus VE equals to zero. We take the first one. We start by A, okay? Here, from A to D. D is at the negative side. We have minus five times I. I here equals to two. VC to VD. From this one to this one, we have nothing. E to C from this one to this one. E is at the positive side. 
So we have plus the voltage here equals to E. VA is at the negative side. So minus R times I2. Here we have I2. Equals to zero. We can solve it simply minus 10 plus E minus two times E2. E2 equals to 1.3 equals to zero. We can find E which is equal to 2.6 uh, two times 1.3 plus 10. Okay, we get here E equals to 12.6 volt. Uh, 